Hello all and welcome back to the very inactive all day chess channel. Sorry, but I have been active the last couple weeks and I'm very sorry I couldn't make any videos. Before we go on, just like a poll or a question, do you guys want to see the evaluation bar and what chess.com categorizes the moves as, as good, brilliant, okay, blunder and stuff on the board or do you like it just as it so you can try and figure it out for yourself? But anyways, put that answer down in the comment section below, and without further ado, let's get started. This puzzle yet again was sent to me on Discord, and this is probably one of the craziest puzzles I have seen. Just not like a study or anything. If you check out the Schwartz channel, that was a super crazy mate in one. But this is actually a combination of moves, and it's really, really crazy. But before our eyes and our head goes bonkers, the black pieces are going this way. The black pawns are trying to move down this way, and the white pawns are going this way, just to get that out of the way. And here in this position, the shortest way to win, or the fastest way to win, is to play king e2. You know, the, the bomb cloud move, king e2. And king e2, and let's say they play g5. After g5, we play knight to f5, and our goal is to bring the knight into the party, because right now we can't just checkmate with these two pieces. And let's say they play g4, then we want to play knight takes e3. And the idea of knight takes e3 is here black does not have any moves to play. If they play h2, then you can simply play bishop f2, which is a checkmate, right? The knight guards the f1 square, the bishop gives check, the king guards the bishop. Right, and if they play h4, bringing this pawn down, then you can simply play bishop to f2, king to h2, knight takes g4, and that's checkmate. So basically, this line is forced. After king to e2 and g5, we simply play our knight f5 line, and no matter if they play h4 or h2, we have our checkmate. And the other move they have, the only other move, is g4. But after g4, we can simply play knight takes e3 again. Then they'll have to play h4. And then we play bishop to f2, king to h2, and knight takes g4. And that's checkmate. Now let's look at another variation. After king to e2, they don't necessarily need to play g5. Instead, what if they play h2? After h2, it's pretty simple. We just play bishop to f4, threatening checkmate right here. And the only problem with not playing bishop to f2 is that black indeed can capture this way. And that looks super weird, right? But here, let me flip the board for you guys. Right here. And if you play bishop to f2, black can just capture. And that's not how you're supposed to do it. So instead, it's bishop to f4 right here. And... The idea of bishop to f4 is that no matter what black plays, g5, or if they play h4, whatever they play, then you just want to play bishop takes e3, and that's checkmate. Now let's look at one last variation, and that would be after king to e2. What if they play h4? h4 to attack your bishop. Now what do you do? Well, you don't care about your bishop. You play knight to f5. And after knight to f5, if they get greedy and take your bishop, then they run to some problems. After knight to h4, knight to f3 is impossible to stop, right? Because remember, the black pawns are going this way, so black pawn can't capture it, and the bishop does not have any room because the black pawn is guard stopping it. And now whatever, h2 or, for example, g5, you just play knight to f3. And here, yeah, king to h2, knight to f3, and it's checkmate. So guys, I really hope you liked this puzzle. It was super cool and had many awesome forcing moves, some of which you wouldn't expect. And I really hope to get back going onto a schedule now, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.